one of the most effective ways to prevent water from entering a house or other structure is the use of sandbags in conjunction with plastic and plywood. Before I begin, I just want to remind everybody that sandbags weigh at least about 20 pounds a piece, so it's a strenuous activity, a good time to grab your neighbors and friends to help you. Uh, also, water at least a foot deep can sweep you off your feet, and um, everybody wants to see you healthy and happy at the end of the event. Uh, moving into how to block a doorway or other opening, first thing you're going to want to do is get a piece of plywood that approximately fits the doorway. It can be any old scrap of plywood. The next thing you're going to need is a piece of plastic, at least six mil thick or better. You're going to want to secure, roughly secure it so that it doesn't move while you begin placing sandbag. The plastic, when it is placed, is one of the most critical things to help keep the water out of the building. My partner here is going to start helping me with bags. I am at the end of the where the water would be coming from. You want to place your bags starting just outside the doorway with the closed end of the bag facing the water flow. Take the other end of the bag and fold it slightly in toward the building. You continue to do this across the width of the door. You will need approximately one bag for every foot that you need to cover. A bag will also give you a rise of about four to six inches. So that'll help you determine how many bags you need to make or get from one of the sources available to you. The end bag, you can fold the other way creating a nice tight end to the... We're actually assuming that we're going to have a flow of about a foot of water. So to do that, I've got, we'll say about four inches of uh, <coughs> water there. Or excuse me, four inches of rise. The next layer, you're going to want to overlap your joints. And again, place one bag Fold the end over. You'll notice that I am flattening the bags down and keeping it relatively neat and tight. That again helps the water, keep the water from penetrating your barrier. Because I've come up two rows, I'm actually going to want to come out one row of bags. So for every two to three rows of bags up, you're going to want to come out a row of bags. And again, with the staggering of the joints, until you've reached the end. I'm going to place one more set of bags across the back here. And one more row should give me enough bags for about a foot of water. <laughs> so that is a completed doorway. You can find more information at valleywater.org slash flood ready.